All right, everybody, what is going on? As you can see, we're out here doing some fishing, of course. And uh, I'm gonna do something a little different and throw something that I don't know a whole lot about. And I got my other rods here, but I got one rod here in particular that I'm gonna try focusing on the most. And this is a new rod and reel that I just picked up not too long ago. Actually, I picked up the rod a week ago and I picked up the reel a couple days ago. This is a St. Croix Bass X 710 Heavy Fast uh, one to four ounce rating rod. And then I have a Daiwa Tatula 200 and uh, 6.3 gear ratio. And uh, I got recommended as this being a really good reel for throwing some big swim baits. Um, I have this one to four ounce rating reel uh, just to begin. I don't plan to throw anything over about three and a quarter or maybe three and a half ounce um, swim baits um, for now just to get practice in learning about some bigger swim baits because it's a whole new area and whole new techniques and whatnot that uh, I don't really know much about and I have never really never really done before. And I went out yesterday and I did some fishing with this just to get some practice with some big swim baits and uh, dial in the Tatula and I got it dialed in pretty good for this bait that I have on here. As you can see the swim jig is kind of beat up because I've made one cast and uh, I happen to smack I happen to smack it against um, a wall when I cast it a little too hard and whipped it. So it's got a little bit of chip in here. Kind of stuck that it happened but it is what it is. So this is a Mega Bass Wazi swim jig with a Magdra freestyle. So we'll go ahead and see if this will do the magic. I got my other rods just in case so we're going to have some fun. So this swim jig is uh, fairly new. These are both my Mega Bass if you didn't know. And what's cool about this swim jig is it's got a little underspin to it. But uh, where the placement of this underspin is at, it does not affect um, the blade at all with the big uh, freestyle mag draft. So it fits perfectly. It's got a 5 out hook on this one I got. This is a 3 fourths ounce swim jig. So it's a, it's a big combo. It weighs a little weighs about two ounces or maybe just a little under two ounces so we're gonna fish with this we're gonna try focusing on this like I said the, most of the time but I got my other rods just in case I'm having a little struggle or I just want struggle and I just want to switch up for a bit and I know swim bait fishing is uh, something you got to be very patient with because it could be one of those things where you fish all day and you might just get one big bite but uh, see if we can try to manage a fish or two on this thing if not that's okay but that's my goal for today is to try to get a fish on this big bait. There's a lot of activity going on in the stock right now. I see a lot of bass. Oh my God, there's a fish right there. Oh my God, yes. Oh, that's a good one too. Oh, I was not expecting, well, it's not a giant, but it's a fish. Holy crap, I was not expecting that. That was only my second cast. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, and this fish hammered it. I did not have my drag really set. I thought it was set, but uh, it wasn't really set. Man, the hook side was weird. It like went through his mouth and then out and, and exited to the top, other, the other side of his mouth. Weird hook set, but... It worked for that fish, man. Not a giant, but I'll take it. There is a bunch of activity going on over here, so I'm gonna let this guy go on over here a little ways from the dock because I don't want to spook any other fish over there. But man, okay, well, <laughs> the goal for today has been accomplished on one fish, but I'm not gonna stop there. Awesome, man. Sweet, see you later, buddy. Awesome. Right there by the dock again. This one's smaller than the other one, but it's a fish. I'll take it. Awesome. I haven't been here but a couple minutes and I've already gotten two fish. Accomplished the goal for today. 
Still gonna fish the big bait, but nothing like a little small swim bait fish. Awesome. Let's let this guy go. Kind of over here, I don't wanna. Got him. There we go. Another one on. I almost did not even feel this fish. I was kind of knocking on some of the little rocks down there. I was kind of knocking on some of the rocks down there. And uh, I thought I got snagged, but I did a little bump and I felt a little twitch. I didn't even feel him really take it. And uh, I had a fish on. Awesome, another one in the, another one down. Baby followers. I tell you what, when I keep, I tell you what, when I switch from this big swim bait rod and everything to the little swim bait I got and the jig and Whatever else I may be throwing, those rods compared to this and everything is uh, a crazy difference. It almost feels like I'm holding nothing when I'm throwing all the rods. Freaking hit. Holy crap. He's a chunk. Oh my god, he freaking engulfed it. Look at that. He choked that. Holy crap, this fish hit it like a freaking five or six pounder. Oh my goodness, I thought that was a big old fish and I almost did not catch up with him. He ran at me so fast. Holy crap. He choked that. Oh my goodness. That's freaking crazy. Awesome. Man. I can see why throwing big baits can be an addiction. Oh my goodness. We're going to go ahead and release this guy. He's not... He's not a giant. About... Oh, maybe just pushing just right about two pounds. But... He hit it like a five or six pounder. That was crazy. See you later, buddy. Oh my goodness. Fish right there. Oh, this feels like a good one, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here. Oh, he's not a real big one. My goodness, I thought he was a freaking big one. Oh. There we go. Another fish. It's been probably half an hour or so. I moved from the other private pond I was at to the one right, right on the other side. And, uh, See if I could still get that big one that's over here that I missed weeks ago. But this little guy came up and ate that big bait. That's crazy. Holy crap, there was a freaking fish that blew up right here. Decent sized bass. Oh my god, he came and swooped up all those little bait fish. But look at that. Almost as big as he's right around the same size as this bait. It's crazy.